Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We're going to look at some two-digit by two-digit multiplication. The first problem was 62 times 21. First of all, you always want to re write it like this. We don't want to try and do it horizontally. Because as brilliant as I am, I don't do it horizontally either. Now, as I've said 172 times, you are only doing one digit times one digit at a time. And if we break this apart in expanded form, like we did at the beginning of the year, I can take my second factor and I can make it 20, because 2 is in the tens place, and 1. So if I want to multiply 62 times 20 and 62 times 1, I can do that very easily. Because that's all I'm doing as I do this problem. And I'll show you as we go through it how each one matches. But if I go 62 times 1, that's obviously 62. 62 times 20, I have that trailing 0. So all I have to do is move that zero down. That's what makes it easier when I break it apart, when I do the expanded form. Because then all I have is my two left. And 60, or six, 62 times two, two times two is four, two times six is 12. And we're gonna get the same, these two numbers are going to appear in this problem when we use the standard algorithm. These two numbers right here, these two products, are going to appear in this group right here when we do the standard algorithm. I start in my ones place. I have one times two, which is two. 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 One times six. six, six. So this right here was 62 times one. Okay, that's what this did. What I just did was 62 times 1. So guess the second group is going to be 62 times 20. Where did I get 20? Because my 2 is in the tens place. So if they asked you the value of 2 in this number, you'd say 20. Just like we did at the beginning of the year. So if I do my math right, here I should get 1,240 if I do my math right. I am done with my ones place. Done with the ones place. My next number is gonna start in the tens place. So I don't wanna put anything in the ones place. Don't wanna do that, because I'm done with the ones place. I'm starting in the tens place. So to make sure I don't put anything in the ones place, I'm gonna put the zero there, because I'm multiplying by 20. Not 21. Grayson, you with me? Thank you. Now all I have to do is take this one digit. If I know my multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If I know those multiples of 2, then this is easy. Piece of cake. So 2 times 2 is? 4. 4. 2 times 6 is? 12. 12. I got the exact same numbers. Here, I only had to multiply by one digit numbers. Here, I only multiplied by one digit at a time. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you can do one digit multiplication, it doesn't matter how many digits are in your factor. Does not matter if you can do one digit multiplication. Now I just find the sum of those two products. And I could take, if I did it this way, I would still add these two together. You're going to get the same thing. Because I'm adding those two numbers together here. So I have ones is two ones, ten tens, three hundreds, and I should get 1,302. It does not matter how big the number is. 
it does not matter how big the number is, you still only multiply one digit at a time. One digit at a time. That is it. Oh, let's see. 98 times 35. Oh my gosh, 98 is a big number. I don't care. It doesn't matter, 98. It could be 99. It could be 12. It doesn't matter. It's the same exact thing. And if you don't know your multiplication facts, then you get out your multiplication chart. It's as easy as that. As easy as that. And again, if I want to break, break 35 down in expanded form, I would have 98 times 5 and 98 times 30. Because 30 and 5 make 35. So if you want to break it apart that way, that's fine. That's what we're doing here, though. We're breaking it apart that way. We're breaking it apart. Right here is the exact same thing we're doing as right here. Make pennies? Good. So, we'll start in our ones place. 5 times 8 is? 40. 40. 5 times 9 is? 45. Plus the... Four that I carried and I forgot to write down. Forty-four. Forty-four. No? Yeah, forty. Nine times five is what? Forty-five. Forty-five plus four. Forty-nine. I can tell you ninety-eight times five is going to equal four hundred ninety. Why? Because I just multiplied it only by five. Before you went to Coker, you did this. Two digit by one digit. And the majority of you were like, I'm pretty good at it. I might need a little practice. That's what this is, is practice two digit by one digit. It looks like two digit by two digit. It's not. It's two digit by one digit. Later on, we're going to do three digit by one digit by one digit, where it'll be set up like a two digit number, but you're only doing one digit at a time every single time. All right, so now we're in our tens place. Our tens place. The reason, that's why that zero is there. Because we're doing 30. 30 times 8. And 30 times 9 is what you're doing. So doing that, I just put my zero down here. Make it easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. Now I'm doing 3 times 8 is... 24. Three times nine is? 27. 27. Oh, I forgot to put the two up there, right? 28, 29. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I can tell you right now that this is 2,940. If you can read a multiplication chart, or you know your 0 through 9 multiplication facts, it does not matter how big the factors are. It doesn't matter. Now I just find the sum of these two products. I have 0, I have 13, I have uh, 14, I have 3. 3,430. Let's look at a step that I want you to also think about. We have talked about estimation previously. So if I have the problem 38 times 12, is that the right one? All right. If I want to estimate this, I want to get an idea what my answer would be. I want to get an idea of what my answer might be near. Not, I don't want to get the exact answer right now. That's too much thinking. So 38 is close to what? 40. 12 is close to what? 10. So my answer needs to be somewhere near 400. Somewhere near 400. Do 
Now we go through this. Again, all I'm doing is 38 times 2 and 38 times 10. That's it. If I can do 38 times 2 and I can do 38 times 10, I'm good. So I need to know my multiples of 2 and my multiples of 1. That's it. Just those two numbers, the multiples of 2 and the multiples of 1. So let's take, start in my ones place. I have two ones times eight ones. I have 16. 16 ones. I'm going to keep one of them. I'm going to keep six of them. I'm going to trade 10 of those over for a 10. Two times three is? Six. Plus one more is? Seven. 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 I'm going to get 76 here too. So I know my multiples of two. Gave me 76. Now, the hard one, I gotta know my multiples of one. Woo! Okay, so now I'm starting in my tens place. Starting in my tens place. So I gotta put the zero there. Now, one times eight is? One times three is? This here is 380. We also learn how to multiply by 10. You move the decimal point. If I had 38, if I had 38 times 10, in the number 38, where's my decimal point? What, okay, what's, what's number? In the number 38, what's in my ones place? Eight. Eight. Decimal point's always here. If I don't see it, it's behind my ones place. And then all I had to do is move my decimal point one place to the right. So then it becomes 380. I add these two products together. And 6, 15, 456. Close to my estimate. Now the reason I estimate. The reason I estimate. Is say I did something wrong. Say I... I ended up with 76 plus 38. I forgot to put that zero down in the ones place. Then I do this and I have 6 and 8 is 14, 10, 11. Then I get 100, 114. I can look at myself and I can say self. Those don't seem very close together, self. And then self can say, oh, let's look back at what I did. And I can see that when I was multiplying by the tens place, I did the same thing as when multiplying by the ones place, I didn't put my zero down there. That's why we estimate first. Because I guarantee you, if I gave this as an assignment, I would get 114 as an answer. But let me emphasize for the 7,000th time today, you only have to know one digit by one digit. In third grade, you learned one digit by one digit. Third? Second? I don't know. Don't yell at me. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> My goodness. If you remember what you did in third grade, this is easy. Get in your head. This is easy. You can do this. This is easy. And if you can do this, you can divide easily. Easily. Boom. Shakalaka. Peace out. God bless. Love you. Do something kind today. Save the bees. Subscribe to Keller GBB.